course title is multi hop networks course code cs477 lecture number 18 today's topic is grid computing the agenda of today's lecture is listed below first we will introduce the motivation of grid computing then we will discuss what is grid computing and grid computing architecture what are the different characteristics of grid computing types of grid we will discuss cluster versus grid and different applications of grid in the last an assignment is given introduction and motivation science is becoming increasingly digital and needs to deal with increasing amounts of data and computational power experimental science uses even more sophisticated software and hardware to make precise calculation and mathematical modeling complex experiments and modeling requires huge computational processing and memory single computer may not perform such heavy tasks are made took longer period of time to solve complex problems we need high performance computing where performance is everything high performance computing ranges from a laptop to the cutting edge supercomputers it is not only on hardware but involves software as well as skilled people high performance computing can be achieved using optimized algorithms and techniques by using supercomputers or using multiple computers work together to solve a particular task or complex problem optimized algorithms work well for small complex tasks whereas supercomputers are very expensive for large complex tasks we need both that is optimized algorithms as well as a huge computational power by grouping many computers to work together to solve the large complex task two techniques are used to group together many computers to work together that is clustering and grid what is grid computing a service for sharing computer power and data storage capacity over the internet here the internet means across multiple network domains in our previous lecture we discussed about cluster computing as we know cluster computing operates within a single network that is local area network while in grid computing the computational power and storage capacity can be accessed across multiple networks basically grid computing is an ambitious and exciting global effort to develop an environment in which individual users can access computers databases and experimental facilities simply and transparently without having to consider where those facilities are located that is across different networks in simple words grid computing is a model for allowing companies to use a large number of computing resources on demand no matter where they are located we can also define a grid computing as a processor architecture that combines computer resources from various network domains to reach a main objective in grid computing the computers on the network can work on a task together thus functioning as a supercomputer grid computing architecture in this diagram a simple grid computing architecture is given 
A grid computing network mainly consists of three types of machines. Number one, control node or grid server. Number two, provider or grid resources. Number three, users. Control node is a computer, normally a server or a group of servers, which administrates the whole network and keeps the account of the resources in the networks. Providers are the distributed resources across different network domains such as computational power, storage and memory. While users are the legitimate or authorized users to use these resources. When a user makes a, re a request for resources to the control node, the control node gives the users access to the resources available on the network. In general, a grid computing system requires at least one computer, normally a server, which handles all the administrative duties for the system. A network of computers running special grid computer network software, these networks com of computers provide resources. A collection of software are also used in grid computing known as middleware. These middlewares are used to communicate heterogeneous computers across different domains. Unlike cluster computing, grid computing resources are scattered across the globe. Characteristics of grid the main characteristics of a grid computing environment can be listed as follows. Number one, large scale. A grid must be able to deal with a number of resources ranging from just a few to millions. Furthermore, grid resources are scattered across the globe. These resources can be in a form of CPU power, storage or memory. Number two, geographical distribution. Grid resources may be spread geographically across hundreds of different networks domains. As we know, cluster computing operates within a local area network, whereas grid computing operates across different network domains. Number three, heterogeneity and loosely coupled. A grid hosts both software and hardware resources that can be very varied, ranging from data files, software components or programs to sensors, scientific instruments, display devices, personal digital organizers, computers, supercomputers, and different networks having different operating systems. Number five, resource sharing. Resources in a grid belong to many different organizations that allow other organizations and different users to access them. Non-local resources can thus be used by applications promoting efficiency and reducing costs. Number six, multiple administrations. Each organization may establish different security and administrative policies under which their own resources can be accessed and used. Thus, network security is a huge challenge in grid computing. Number seven, resource coordination. Resources in a grid must be coordinated in order to provide aggregated and, and combined computing capabilities and storage resources. Number eight, quality of service. A grid must assure the delivery of services under established quality of service requirements. Types of grid computing. There are three main types of grid computing. 
नंबर वन कंप्यूटेशनल ग्रिड नंबर टू स्कीवेंजिंग ग्रिड नंबर थ्री डेटा ग्रिड computational grid a computational grid is focused on resources specifically for computer power that is cpu powers in this type of grid most of the machines are high performance servers scavenging grid scavenging grid is most commonly used with large number of simple desktop machines machines are scavenged for available cpu and other resources owners of the desktop machines are normally given control over when their resources are available to participate in the grid operations data grid a data grid is responsible for housing and providing access to data across multiple organizations users are not concerned with where this data is located as long as they have access to the data in simple words computational grid is used to allocate cpu powers to solve particular problems scavenging grids finds those machines or desktop systems which which are idle to solve particular problems data grid provide a unified interface for all data repositories of grid cluster versus grid computing in cluster the connected computers have to be homogeneous which means that they should have a similar kind of operating system and hardware while in grid the connected computers can have dissimilar operating system and hardware that is grid consist of heterogeneous machines in cluster all the nodes are committed to perform a similar operation and no other operation is allowed to be done while in grid the nodes here allot their unused processing resources and storage capabilities for the grid computing network in cluster computing every node is located close to the next one while in grid the nodes can be placed at a far distance from each other in cluster computing all the nodes in the network are connected through the high speed local area network connection while in grid all the nodes in the networks are connected through the internet in cluster nodes are connected in the format of centralized network topology whereas in grid the nodes are connected in the format of distributed or decentralized network topology in cluster computing scheduling is managed by the central server grid also have a server but each computer performs its own method in cluster computing the entire system works as one while in grid computing every node is autonomous and can or cannot participate in grid operations cluster computing form a tightly connected systems while grid is a form of loosely connected system cluster follows single system functionality whereas grid follows diversity and dynamism applications of grid computing grid computing applications can be classified into different types such as in life science applications include computational biology bioinformatics genomics computational neuroscience examples are protein data bank my grid project biomedical information research network engineering applications such as nasa operations 
data oriented applications such as distributed aircraft maintenance environment physical science applications such as us project to observe galaxies from different telescopes around the world commercial applications include virtual servers hosting disasters recovery servers heterogeneous workload management airports automations digital cities and medical collaborations here is an assignment our university has its own cluster in data center explain this cluster with respect to hardware software master node slaves nodes configuration which software is used for implementation of cluster what is its framework and architecture the assignment is about how we can establish a grid for six different universities for educational resources sharing explain the architecture software hardware and possible applications assume all universities are located in different cities having different networking domains